Ebernib infection is a virus spread by fruit bats, Teropatidae family. Teropis genus, which causes severe illness in animals as well as humans. Here are some preventive measures to protect you. The spread of Nipah virus has got everyone on their feet with a striking rate of 12 deaths and 14 confirmed samples of infection, in a brief time period. This is a new and rare type of virus, which was recently detected in Kerala, and has the graph of deaths going up in both humans and animals. But what is Nipah virus? Nipah nip infection is a virus spread by fruit bats. Teropodidae family, Teropis genus, which causes severe illness in animals as well as humans. Fruit bats infect fruits like date palm saps, mangoes, guavas and blueberries, mostly located in tropical areas, by leaving them half-eaten, infected by their saliva or excreta. The standard hosts of this virus have been pigs and birds. Nipah was first detected during an outbreak that took place in Malaysia and soon after that in Bangladesh. It has been known to have an incubation period of 4 to 15 days presenting an array of clinical presentations ranging from asymptomatic infections and in extreme cases, coma. Other symptoms include acute respiratory syndrome, drowsiness and fatal encephalitis, inflammation of brain. The virus causes multiple MRI abnormalities, including small, aometric focal lesions in subcortical region. It also leads to deep white matter without surrounding edema. As the days while being affected increase, the symptoms start becoming more visible. When symptoms like mental confusion, fever and disorientation start taking over, the virus has earned its scary reputation by killing 40 to 100% of those who are affected. Transmission of Nipah virus takes place through direct contact with infected animals or humans. The chances of animals and birds being infected initially are quite high as they consume the leftover of fruit bats and come in direct contact with the infected saliva or excreta. Human-to-human -human transmissions have also been reported. Direct contact with infected yet deceased person can also spread the virus. Even the consumption of raw or cooked meat of infected animal or drinking date palm sap of contaminated area will trigger the virus. It is highly suggested to avoid eating pork. Viruses like Nipah are likely to become more common, as there is a chance that the infected bugs which have mainly infected the host animals or bird species, might eventually mutate and make human beings as their initial host. Preventive measures things to avoid, avoid fruits from unknown origin like blueberries. The host of this virus are fruit bats who often drop half-eaten fruits which then may get eaten by other animals. This can lead to further spreading of the infection. It's recommended to strictly avoid pork, date, palm sap, fruits from unknown origin and blueberries in the infected areas particularly Household changes wash fruits with vinegar properly and use a mask whenever you head out. If any of your family members are affected from Nipah virus then isolate the person in a separate room, wash the patient's clothes and bed sheets separately while giving them proper medication after consulting a doctor. Vaccination As of now, no particular vaccine is available to cure Nipah virus. The only way to cure this virus is care. Guidelines with the outbreak of the newly emerging deadly infection, Nipah virus, NIV, which is the cause of severe diseases in both human and animals, in southern India has spread at a high rate in the past few days leaving a panic situation behind. So, follow these guidelines and make sure not to get in direct contact with infected people. Maintain a high level of personal hygiene. Consult a doctor if you notice any symptoms. In case you're diagnosed, the patient must be kept in seclusion. Avoid exposure to animals especially, pigs and bats. Wash your hands properly and make sure to cover your mouth when you pass by the infected area. Over to you now that you are completely aware about this deadly infection, it is advised that you proceed cautiously and protect your family against this virus. Please share the information with your loved ones. And stay abreast of your surroundings. Taking extra caution when the infection and virus are active is the only way that you can shield yourself against this fatal disease. You must seek professional help in case you notice any symptoms.